<laughs> she was so badass. She went looking towards the shore, deciding if she wanted to swim, and then she just went jumping. Bowser's always been very curious about water. In the house, if water is dripping, she'll try to catch it. She keeps trying to pivot her paw underneath to catch the drop of water. <laughs> But whenever I take a bath, she always sits on the edge and likes to lick the water. We just had the idea to put her in the water gently, <laughs> see what would happen. And she just very happily paddled to the shore, and we found that she loved it. So we did it again and again, and she was just super happy to be in the water. Then we started building up from there. We took her out by the ocean, and she's still getting courageous about the ocean. But she was braver than she ever was before because she was so excited to be with us. She loves walking along the water. I think it's a mixture of her loving the adventures and loving being with us. She certainly wasn't brave to begin with. Earlier, she had been very afraid. After she got spayed, she became a little more on edge. She used to be very anxious and she would over groom a lot. I think living in an apartment wasn't good for her. We called her basement Bowser because she would just go down and hide She's always been a bit more timid, but curious. This is called a cat bridge. It's when the cat is being a bridge. She used to be a semi-indoor-outdoor cat. We decided that we wanted to road trip a little bit and be able to work remotely. We didn't want to leave the cat at home, <laughs> so we decided to bring her with us. We just put a leash on her, and then we figured if we just can walk her like a dog, then that might work. Elza became much more social and outgoing and back to her normal self and just much more adventurous. And as she got more and more comfortable, she started doing two-mile hikes with us. Bowser's been to 45 states in 22 national parks. It's been great to see her personality blossom and her adventurous <laughs> spirit go along with our road trip adventures. She especially loves forests. Bowser loves rock climbing. I became much more confident just watching Bowser doing it. So I started doing a lot more rock climbing than I used to. She's so happy in the snow. We put her down and she was prancing. She keeps the group together. So a lot of people have asked us how we feel confident having the cat off leash. And she's actually really good. She stops whenever we stop and just waits. Through exposure, she tries more and more things. Even bike riding, she's been getting really good at recently. She has her little front paws up and she's sniffing her nose out and she's so excited. If cats could smile, you could see her smile. And so her world got so much bigger because she is trying new things. As two women hiking and traveling alone, we sometimes get nervous, but Bodza helps keep us safe because she can always sense when there's an animal or person around before we do. She's somehow fast asleep. I've been impressed at how adaptable she's been. Bodza is a superstar member of our little traveling family. <laughs>